Hey, True Believers, Englantine here with a rant slash review of All New Wolverine number 32. By that, I mean I actually almost pulled out the Clint Eastwood clip for this. I really did. This was not, this is not just a review. It's, it's, uh, it's an old man comics rant. It's, it's both. Now, in the past, I've said, you know, All New Wolverine's been good. It's also been bad. This is, this whole series at best is inconsistent. Here, however, are two girls that are planning preconceived... I mean, it's a preconceived murder. Basically, that's it. There is nothing but revenge. This is absolutely disgusting. They perceive this guy as... Uh, okay, so let, let me get through the story. Uh, we, we're shown Laura Kinney as a kid and her uh, you know, being basically built as Wolverine. And she's put in a room with some agents who get killed... One of them, the the black guy on the page here, uh, the little girl here also yeah, that that's her dad, and the little girl grows up to want to get revenge on the guy who runs the program. Of course, they tie him into being a Nazi. Of course, of course, a fucking course. And uh, so at one point, she even says, "Grab your Nazi stomping boots, cause we're just going to kill somebody." And they decide to get revenge on the person who built Laura in order to murder the girl's father. Let's not get past the fact that the girl should also be mad at Laura. But no, that never comes up. Why? Because she's not a freaking Nazi. Hi, vey. Okay, let's let's also ignore the fact that more than likely this guy is not the end of this. There's somebody above him, but no, he's a Nazi. We're going to stomp him. And all throughout, they're talking about this. They're talking about, well, grab your boots. We're going to kill him. We're going to kill him. We're going to kill him. The, I, it's absolutely disgusting. I, I'm serious. And I know a lot of people, a lot of the dumb people are going to be like, hey, he's saying the Nazis are getting... No, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You are a dumbass if that's what you pull from this. The fact that what we have here is somebody who's supposed to be a role model, somebody who's supposed to be a hero, is premeditated, uh, is committing premeditated murder. That is what it's all about. That's what I, I'm, I'm ticked off about. And look, I am not one of these pussies, drama queens that are going to go out and go, oh, they're saying they want to kill comics gators. <laughs> I need the drama. No, I'm not one of those people. This is simple and pure, dumbass Tom Tyler probably say, thinking everybody who doesn't agree with him is a Nazi and let's do this because uh, bash the fash, hit the Nazi, punch the Nazi, whatever, is, is all the rage now. That That's what I believe happened. I don't think it's any anything beyond that. And But holy shit. Holy shit and shine all. Also, here's a scene where these agents come up on the little girl and she says, yeah, I've been trained. Have they? How did they get their jobs as agents? She, they're taken out by this little girl. The fucking hell is that all about? Seriously? I mean, I know there's Mary Sue's in Marvel Comics, but Jesus Christ, we found the original. We found the original. That's the Virgin Mary Sue. There you go. We have found the Virgin Mary Sue in this book right here. God damn, this book pissed me off. It really did. There is absolutely no consequence to this. They even uh, up the ante, have this guy uh, shoot an innocent. Oh, while I'm defending myself, I may kill innocent people. Jesus, Lord in heaven. You know, I in the days of Dick Dastardly, okay, fine. You have your mustache twirlers. But Jesus Christ, try to give your villains a little bit of depth, will you? Jesus, Lord in heaven. I, I, you know, I'm taking the Lord's vain, name in vain a lot. I, I just have to say, yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, I, I, I put this on for five minutes, uh, my normal review, and then it turned into a rant. I just can't believe the crap. I mean, and, and like I said, it's proof there. Uh, it broke me. This this book broke me. This book, because I'm I'm literally out of words now. Not because I can't think of anything to say. It's because I really, 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 really want to tear into it because it's it's premeditated murder all the way. And she's carrying what looks to be a 250 pound man in in one one hand. Wow, wow. how strong is she? I remember the old uh, 
the the old uh, official handbook of the Marvel Universe saying that Wolverine could lift like five or eight hundred pounds or something like that. How strong is Laura Kinney that she's casually walking with two hundred and fifty pound man in a suitcase? I don't know. This is this book's bad, guys. Oh yeah, and here's the the Nazi stomping scene I used as a as the thumbnail. Yeah, your hero, ladies and gentlemen, a role model for little girls everywhere. If you see somebody did something wrong to you, if you perceive that they committed a, a slight, go on, put your biggest Nazi stomping boots on and just bash the freaking fash. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? Have you read All New Wolverine? Did you survive it? Like me? Are you an All New Wolverine survivor now? Is that that's what it's called? What did you think? Were you like, yay, they killed the freaking Nazis. Oh, it's not premeditated murder at all. And it's not even the fact that he's a Nazi. He's not. He's not. He's just somebody who ran an agency. Somebody, want, just one of many in the Marvel Universe that ran an agency that created some sort of weapon. That's it. Anyway, what did you think of the book? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, click like, click share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Not that I think that'll help because YouTube says, hey, let's screw over the small tuber because we want more uh, Jimmy Kimmel videos to make a million views. Ah, not that I've got any kind of uh, grudge against it. Yeah, I do. But then again, this book just made me have a grudge against the fucking world. But I still could use your support, though. So if you don't mind supporting the channel, go on over to Patreon. Links in the description below. Drop a dollar in the till. Helps keep making movies, uh, videos and help us uh, keep the lights on. We do have tier rewards, but also we do a graphic novel giveaway. So we pick a winner out of the hat, and whoever wins gets to choose a graphic novel or trade paperback this month. It's winner's choice. I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that, and to everyone and all the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.